Hello my pretty people, thank you guys so much for coming to my channel. I am Ashley, also Ash McFairs, and in today's video, we smell good. <laughs> we are talking about fragrances, my favorite fragrances. Quickly before I start talking, I will say I'm also a gourmand girl, a gourmand girl. I love me some vanilla. I love all of that sweet sugar spice to it my list is centered around that so do keep that in mind i am a gourmand good gal anyways now let's get into the list first fragrance on the list my top dog my top shata my best friend <laughs> the one that i have been wearing every single day since i have gotten her Exalté. Fumi monet the content creator the tiktok fragrance connoisseur gave us this beauty and i have not looked back since okay i did not buy her when she first came out but when she re-released her in this size i was like all right let me get it let me try it it was a blind buy and you know what i'll tell you this right now my second purchase was not a blind buy okay, let me get into these notes we have pink pepper lemon that's the top notes middle notes turkish rose orange blossom jasmine Asmanthus base notes is vanilla, amber, sandalwood, benzo benzoin, and musk. She smells so delicious. I'm usually one that hates rose. I find rose to smell so grandma ish. I appreciate rose, I just never found that it complimented me. So I never really cared for rose. I've never cared for pink pepper. I've always just stayed clear of fragrances with those notes. Uh, but this. I don't know what type of drug she has put in this fragrance. It is so divine. No matter if I sprayed it earlier in the day or late at night, I just get so many compliments. She has such great staying power. Everyone that I come across asks me, what am I wearing? And they want to know exactly. They want to know how much. Like I give them all the deets because Fumi needs to get all her coins for this. Okay. Next on my list of top fragrances, and this one is a body spray. It is the Sol Gennaro 68. She is yummy in a bottle. Yummy. I actually bought her to go on vacation because she just smells like a vacation sweet fruity floral and i was just like yeah they need to make this in a perfume forget the body mist make it in a perfume okay make it you've been told here are the notes the fragrance family is fruity floral top notes is pink dragon fruit lychee essence middle notes is brazilian jasmine ocean air hibiscus and the dry down or the base notes is sheer vanilla and sun musk and let me tell you she is such a great fragrance when you really don't want to put on perfume or in my case when i am having a bit of an eczema flare-up or i just find that my skin is just it can't really handle the perfume at the moment i love to use a body spray to just get my point across that i'm a girl that likes to smell good now does it have the staying power of perfume obviously not but it does smell sweet it does smell floral it does smell beautiful um this is one of the few floral-esque scent that i have that i do really really love because like i said i'm a gourmand girl i love me a warm sugary vanilla that's just my that's just my vibe but as the summer comes in we do gotta lighten that load a little bit on just a nice warm hot summer day spraying this on mm points will be made and since we are on the topic of body sprays i might as well bring up the og and what really started my vanilla craze since i was young bath and body works warm vanilla sugar i know that bath and body works is one of those brands where it's like you still wear that and i hold no judgment to anyone that does because i still use their products they have really improved their shower gels they've made it even creamier and more sensitive skin friendly and more moisturizing their lotions have gotten better their body creams body butters they've now expanded into perfume so they've really improved the quality of their their products with that being said warm vanilla sugar is an og i remember when they discontinued this girl i was truly heartbroken i think it took them like five years to bring it back and when they finally did i snatched it up off the shelf because if one thing i'm gonna do is have my warm vanilla sugar so we have intoxicating vanilla white orchid sparkling sugar fresh jasmine and creamy sandalwood i don't care how warm it is how sunny it is outside. I'm gonna put on a bit of a warm vanilla sugar. 
I love to seal in my fragrances with this. Not all fragrances, but some of them just needs a good sealant with this. Can never go wrong with some warm vanilla sugar. Since we are talking about vanilla and warm and sugar, I cannot continue without mentioning Kaali Vanilla 28. Listen, all the girls know, the girlies understand, the girlies put me on. I had gotten her as a travel size because that is my thing now i refuse to pay full size for a perfume that i'm not sure i would like especially if i don't know what it smells like promptly got her in the full size as soon as it was in stock because i was so blown away with how great it smelled um i'm sure all of you know the notes but let's go through that vanilla orchid tonka absolute amber woods musk and brown sugar uh, it's just it's a vanilla's dream this with the warm vanilla sugar sealed up together mm, somebody's just gonna want to snuggle you like i it dries down and with a, such a spicy sweet note that I love is and sticking with the K. Ali family, I also want to talk about Eden, the juicy apple. She is so sweet. She's so cute. Uh, this is the travel size. I don't think they make it in this bottle anymore. They just do the regular long travel size. I am going to get her in a full size because after using her, I wasn't sure I was going to get her at first. But after using her and getting to know her, getting familiar with her, I realized, yeah, I'm going to need a full bottle. I'm gonna, need a, I'm gonna need a fat one. The notes are top notes are juicy red apple, black currant, pink grapefruit, lychee. Middle notes is wild berries, raspberry blossom, jasmine. And the dry down or base notes is vanilla flower, amber crystals, sugared moss, and sensual musk. When I first smelled this, I immediately thought of Britney Spears fantasy. If you guys remember that line with Britney Spears, that collection, I loved that collection as a kid. I thought it was amazing. It was exactly what I wanted to smell like as a kid. You couldn't tell me anything. I was smelling divine. So when I smelled this, I was like, oh, I was kind of bored with it. I was like, oh, no, I don't like it. It's boring. I don't need a full bottle. Thank God I got the small one. But as I kept wearing it, I was like, no, this is just juicy. This is juicy. Remember Candy Crush when you would hit it and he would be like, juicy. Well, this is that. It's sweet, yet it has a nice little tartness where it's not overtly sweet. I think this scent is gonna perform so well as it gets warmer. I feel like you have a good like four to five hours of staying power and I'm okay with that. My sensitive skin is okay with that. I'm definitely getting a big bottle because I, I need to have, so. I'm getting her. We're just gonna keep it in the vanilla family right now because as I told you guys, vanilla and me, sugar and me, gourmand, me, we go together real bad, okay? Real bad. <laughs> Next on uh, my list is the Billie Eilish fragrance, Eilish. Let's talk about the notes first. The top notes is sugar petals, mandarin, warm berries. Middle notes is creamy vanilla, soft spices, cacao, not cacao, cocoa. Sorry. A part of my diet is cacao nibs. That's why I said cacao. Base notes is sleek wood, warm musk, and tonka beans. It's another vanilla dream. If you love a sweet vanilla, it's definitely that. It's warm, it's sweet, it's soft. It has soft elements, but I will tell you this. I I prefer this fragrance after it has dried down because I smell my own self and I'm obsessed. Sometimes I forget that I sprayed this fragrance on and 8-10 hours would have gone by and I'm wondering what smells so good? What is that smell? The staying power is so good. The dry down, oh that's my favorite. It's so good. Like I said, so creamy. It has a sweet element, yet it's soft. Eilish, something I would probably wear in the summer versus Vanilla 28. Billie Eilish did that because she's their guru. Then we have the Nest Madagascar Vanilla, their perfume oil. I'm a big lover of perfume oils, especially when I realize that it has far more staying power than an odor, odor a, than a perfume, regular spray perfume. Far more staying power and it's way more sensitive skin friendly. My skin prefers fragrance oils above all else. Unfortunately, not many brands make them and I am very hesitant of who I get them from because my sensitive skin. So I love this fragrance. It's a lot brighter than I thought it would be. I thought it would be just a true and flat vanilla. It is not. It is so much brighter. The notes are vanilla bean, vanilla orchid, and coconut. 
that's it. It's truly an amazing fragrance. And because it's a lot brighter than a traditional vanilla fragrance or gourmand fragrance, I have no problem wearing this in the summer and I would actually recommend wearing this in the summer. Not all vanillas you can do that or gourmands. And since we are in the Nest family, I cannot cannot not list this fragrance because it is the fragrance that has started it all for me when it came to nest okay and that is indigo i love indigo i need to get another one i really do i i do but i am an indigo girl i think of all the nest fragrances that i have tried indigo is my tried and true i think i'm gonna always have indigo in my collection i really am um it it's just that girl it's a fruity floral one of the few times that i've stepped out of my gourmand world <laughs> but it's a fruity floral the notes are rose himalayan jasmine pear raspberry and apricot and it's just that it's a very fruity it's very floral i wear it all year when i want to if i want to it's just so bright it's floral it's fresh it's inviting it's sophisticated it's it's just good it's good it really started my love of all nest eye products and i i'm an indigo girl and since we're on the topic of nest again i have to mention their black tulip the fragrance notes are japanese violet indonesian jasmine patchouli pink peppercorn black amber plum and black cherry it is so seductive put it like that so so seductive every time i spray that fragrance and i'm only spraying it at night i just feel like that girl i just feel like yeah i'm outside i'm stepping out tonight mm -hmm, yeah that's exactly what that fragrance does to me it just turns me into a different beast and i love that for me <laughs> Like I said, seductive, sexy. It's just, it's everything, everything. Only wear it at night because you don't want to, you don't want to be making that kind of statement in the day. It is dangerous. Next on my list of favorite fragrances is Dossier's or Oriental Cherry. Now, as you guys know, Dossier is famously known for being a brand that makes pretty much spot on replicas to top name brands fragrance brands for a more affordable price this is their version to lost cherry i don't think i've ever smelled it before to be honest i can't remember if i did however if this is what lost cherry smells like i don't feel like i'm missing out on anything okay this is what sparked my love for cherries and i i'm just i'm not looking back when it comes to cherries okay anything with a cherry a black currant i'm i'm, I'm happy to have the top notes are cherry almond cinnamon middle notes clove rose jasmine plum base notes is peru balsam tonka bean and vanilla and oh my god oh, that cherry you you the cherry is just right there i some people don't love cherry i love cherry i'm very surprised that i love cherry well no i shouldn't be surprised because i'm a girl i love gourmands i like the sweeter element to it juicy it's juicy it's decadent okay i just feel like a creamsicle pie every time i wear this and i could not be happier for me lastly on the list of my favorite fragrances and it is not a gourmand is good chemistry tiger lily again i got it in a travel size not because i haven't tried it before i've actually i actually did have the full size bottle this time i just said you know what i just need to travel size i don't reach for it very often but when i do a travel size is more than enough the notes are orange flower vanilla and amber to me this is more powdery and fresh yes there is a small level of floral and i think that's where the orange flower comes in i don't really spell amber i don't really smell vanilla to be honest the brand describes it as a floral gourmand i don't get that to me it's just a powdery fresh scent on those days where i just really want to smell fresh and light and clean per se uh, don't get me started on the clean fragrances that brand it's just because i don't have any right now but i've had them before anyways for those days that i just want to smell fresh clean and light i always reach for this it's very powdery very fresh and sometimes we need that you know can't always have a grandma on moment cannot cannot always have a vanilla moment but for those moments where i don't want it i always 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 reach for 
this. So that concludes my top fragrances. At the moment, it is a ever-growing list. I want a collection as massive as Jackie Ina, as Fumi Monet, and all the other girls with an extensive collection. I am definitely gonna like expand out of my gourmand world because you cannot be a fragrance girl if you are only sticking in one fragrance family. Like, where they do that at? <laughs> it cannot work. Um, but you know, it Gourmand is my thing. I definitely hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any fragrances that you would like to recommend to me or just, you know, surprised you, definitely leave me a comment down below and tell me because I make blind purchases all the time. So I don't see why I can't do it again for you guys. Um, if you like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. And while you're at it, definitely hit that subscribe button. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.